How's it going everyone? Unknown Fish Guy here. I want to show you what I'm doing. I'm starting to fill up the new tank for the rainbows. The 60 gallon. The new tank is 48 inches long by 24 inches high and 13 inches depth is what the specs say. Right here you're looking at just the rainbow tank. Sorry for any glare or anything. The lights are off in rainbow tank because it's time for them to go to sleep. But yeah, I just want to make a quick video. I was doing some of the substrate. And here's the, the new home that they're going to as you'll see and it's slowly filling up with water there's the old home there's the new home it's a big difference they'll enjoy it but yeah I want to show you uh so I'm filling up the tank I put a two and a half inch layer of gravel in the front and it built it up in the back if you can see on the side sorry for the glare about a three inch layer in the back. So about two and a half to three, three and a half it goes to. So I want to show you, I used the uh, floor, fluorite for about an inch as a base substrate because it's a clay substrate. I didn't pre-wash or nothing. It said it was pre-washed. I've heard mixed reviews. People say, yeah, they washed it and washed it and washed it. Still, it made the tank cloudy. Some people never washed it. it had the same cloudiness. So didn't really make a difference so I'm gonna give it a try I'm gonna slowly usually what they call drip applimate but I made my own uh, concoction here to slowly put the water into the tank and as you see the water is a little cloudy as you'll see but when the filters on it shouldn't be that bad it's not a milky chocolate milk appearance or anything so it's a lot better it was a lot better than when I put a this gravel in right here when I put the flu vault stratum that was like black milky syrup man took a long time but yeah I want to show you I'm filling it up to 60 gallon so as I was saying I put a fluorite fluorite <laughs> mixture on the bottom as a base about an inch and I did something where I left about an inch from this black line I left an inch deep without any fluoride that's so if anything gets in here or food particles build up I can vacuum gravel vac deeper in the front and on the corner sides around and it won't have the clay fluorite come up ever so I kept the inch fluorite with uh, about two inches two and a half depending on where the depth is of eco complete I took the eco complete out it had some water in there because as you know it has live bacteria I really don't need the live bacteria in here I have you know the canister filters all my medias ready to go really so don't really need to cycle the tank that much so I put the I drained it out so I didn't have to worry or get anything else in the tank and yeah laid it down and that's about it I'm dripping so sorry it's, it's cloudy and foggy here now because I closed the lids <laughs> the temperature is different but yeah just want to show you here I'm using a slow slow drip right here as you see slowly drip the water so I don't rush it in and if the lines going from here just into a bucket with a clothespin and the bucket has some water there you know inside and it just slowly travels down and right into the tank which you'll see right here that's really sorry for any camera problems but yeah so it's just gonna slowly go I'll slow up fill up about halfway maybe add some plants Still don't know what I'm going to do. If I'm going to do any driftwood, plants, or just rocks. We'll have to see. Don't know what plants I'm using yet. So yeah, I'm just enjoying it. You know, having a good time. There's the rainbows when the lights are off. They're still looking great. Oh, sorry for the focus here. They're still looking great, the rainbows. i got a mess all around. i got all the fish tank stuff all over here. <laughs> all around. But yeah, I'm going to make a quick video. Try and do some step-by-step -step stuff as I go. I'll let you see the clarity of the water. It's pretty good, as you can see. You know, sorry for any reflections. But yeah, just to cap it off, an inch, inch and a quarter base of flu fluorite. And then I capped it off with two inches, two and a half of eco complete. And we'll see what happens. Also, I'll show you the, the review of the lighting. I have a, it's a Phoenix, the Phoenix Planted Plus, the Ray Planted Plus lighting system that I'm trying out here it's LED there's the name gotta switch around to the other side 
But as you can see, I don't know if you can see the reflection. I'm gonna try to get it up so you can see more. Is that it has it has red and white color spectrum. So yeah, I'll do more in depth on that, and we'll check it out later on. Check all the other stuff that I'm gonna put in here. But yeah, things are coming along. Got the glass top going on here. Looking good, you know. Comment, rate, subscribe. Any tips or anything, hope this can help. See you in a little bit.